Today, I'm going to teach you how to use the LMS platform, okay? So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to visit your school website. And what I'm going to do when I'm here in the school website is I'm just going to click Portal. So, after I click Portal, you have two options, okay? So, what we're going to select is the LMS platform. Okay, so just click LMS and after that, you will log in using your own account. So all of you will receive your own user account via your email address. So you're just going to type in your username and password and after that, just click log in. When you log in, you will see your homepage. So we call this the school newsfeed. So this really looks like Facebook. And the difference is you can't actually post or you can't actually like or even comment. Okay. So only the school could actually post on the class or on the school newsfeed. Okay. So here you can see announcements or any other information that the school wanted to share to all of you. Okay. The other thing that you could do here is you could see the school calendar. Here on the school calendar, you will see all the upcoming activities that's going to happen to your school. Okay? So just like, for example, the start of class will be on August 3. So it's actually showing here. And we're also adding a shortcut here, the class activity, wherein you're going to see all the ongoing and upcoming uh, class activity like quizzes or homeworks of all your classes. We also added here on top of the screen, the notifications tab, wherein just like Facebook, if you have any notifications in your class or in the school, you will receive it here. Okay, so just like for example, there's a post or um, there was an uploaded file. So all of the things that's happening in the class or in the school, you will be notified. Okay, so how are we going to enter a class? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just go here at the left sidebar and you will see a notebook icon and you will see online classes. So just click that and it's going to open to this page. Okay, so on this page, you will see all the list of classes. Um, that you're a part of and the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to join a class. So how can you join a class? Your teacher will actually give you a class code. So let me show you an example. I'm going to use my teacher account and then the teacher will give you a class code. So this class code will be given to you and then using your own account you Using the student account, you're just going to click join class, this one. So when you click this, just type here or paste the class code that was given to you. Okay, just click join. And you already requested to join the class. Okay, it doesn't mean when you requested to join the class that you're already or instantly part of the class because the teacher still needs to approve your request. Okay. So let me approve the request of the student account. So this is my teacher account and I've seen that you requested to join my class. So I'm just going to click that and I'm going to approve your request so that you could actually be part of my class already. So when I refresh the student account, I will get a notification that I already am accepted to join the class, okay? So I'm going to see it here already. So if I click this, I could now enter the class that my teacher created. So what can I do here inside the class? So imagine this as your own private class, okay? So the teacher could actually post all the contents, all the lesson plans, and everything that they wanted to share to all of you. 
So just like for example, each class will have their own video call link. Okay. So you will see it here. Let's say this is the Google Meet link. And if you click this, it's going to open Google Meet right away. Okay. So this is where you're going to use for your video conference call. Okay. When I scroll down, I'm going to see all the posts that my teacher posted inside the class. So let's say there's a YouTube video that my teacher shared. So if I click this, I could play the video and I could watch it here. If ever you have any questions or you wanted to interact to the post of your teacher, just like Facebook, you have the like and you could also leave comments. So I could leave a comment and say, this is a great video. And I could leave that comment. Okay. Now, I could watch this YouTube video. And then if I scroll down, there's another post that my teacher posted. Let's say, can you solve this question? So there's an image and my teacher is asking me to solve this question. So if I click submit file, I could actually browse a file or I could just put my answer here. Let's say my answer is 10. And then I could just click done. And then automatically my teacher will receive my answer. Okay. Now let me scroll down again. And then I will see here that my teacher is asking me for my latest photo. And then there's a deadline that I need to submit it on July 28 until 7 p.m. So if I click Submit File and I wanted to attach a file, let's say I'm going to attach the image. And then I can just click Done. And then again, I submitted an image to my teacher. If I scroll down, I, again, I could see a video here that my teacher uploaded. I could play it if I want to. And I could click full screen if I wanted to watch it in full screen. And if I want to control the audio at the same time. If I scroll down, I'm going to see here uh, my teacher attached a file. I could download that file so that I could view it using my computer. You can see an image and other images that my teacher uploaded, okay? So I could interact and see all the contents that the teacher posted in my class. Now, if I scroll up, you will see here that there's a status, okay? So the question is, can you post as a student? The answer is yes. You could actually share or post um, anything that you wanted to share in your class, but... When you post, it's not going to be seen instantly in the class feed, okay? Because your teachers need to approve your post first, right? We wanted to make sure that the quality of the class feed is there so that the teacher needs to approve your post first, okay? Now, as you could also see here, you will see the class activity on this page. You will also see this when you go to the home page and the first time you log in. So this shortcut is actually showing you all the ongoing and upcoming quizzes or activities in your classes. So let's say I'm going to click this one first. And I'm going to see all the details about this activity. Okay, the time and the date where I could actually take this activity, the total question and time limit. So if I click take an activity now, I could answer the quiz or the activity that my teacher assigned to my class. I will see here on the upper left corner that we have a timer. So if this time actually ends, the activity will automatically submit and we also added here a feature wherein if ever there are scenarios wherein you don't have an internet connection or you lost electricity, you can still go back and answer the activity, but all the all the answered questions you can't change it anymore. Okay? So let's try to do that. 
So first thing is I'm going to select, let's say here in the question one, I'm going to select true. And then I'm just going to select false and then true. And for example, I lost my internet connection or I lost electricity. I'm just going to refresh this page. And when I go back, I'm just going to click take an activity again. And I can still go back and the time will continue, but I can't change the answered questions already. But I can still answer those questions that I haven't answered yet. So I'm just going to click proceed. And here on the right side, you will see your status or your progress. So let's say on the tour false, I already finished five out of five questions. And then on the multiple choice, I haven't answered anything yet. So if I click multiple choice, it's going to proceed to the multiple choice section. And if I select my answer, it's going to show one over three. Okay, so it's helping you to see your progress so that you could avoid uh, missing some questions. Okay. And here on the lower part of your screen, you could see the entire progress of your activity. So again, we have a total of 12 questions. You were able to answer 6 over 12 already. So at least you're aware of where you are right now. Okay, so it's going to help you to see if you're missing anything else. So I'm just going to select more answers. And if ever you accidentally click finish, it's going to warn you that you haven't finished the entire activity. So it's going to tell you that on the fill in the blanks, you haven't answered question one and two. And in the essay part, you haven't answered one and two as well. So again, we're helping you to see uh, your progress and for you to avoid uh, missing the questions. Okay. So let's say I'm going to go to the fill in the blanks. I can just type here my answer there and I'm gonna go to the essay and I could type here my answer and when you're done you could actually click finish and then when you submit it's gonna show how long you answered the activity and your score but it's actually telling you at the same time that the score for your essay is not yet included okay so when you're done just click close and you're going to go back here to your assigned activity page. Now, what else can you actually do here on your class? Okay, so we'll, you will see here there are class files. So if I click class files, so my teachers could also upload documents here, wherein you could actually download the files that the teacher posted. Okay, we also have here the class calendar. So the class calendar shows you all the activities or upcoming activities in your class. So just like for example here on the 28th, I have a deadline that I have to submit my latest photo. So it's actually showing you. Okay. And in the My Performance page, it's also showing you all the list of activities that you made, the date that you took the activity, and your score. Okay. So that's it. It's very simple to understand. It really looks like your social media platforms. So I hope you're going to have a good time using the platform and we are really looking forward on helping you this coming school year. Thank you so much.